How does John Huckabee stay sane with all the craziness out there in the world? Doing theater. <laughs> yeah, just working on theater. That's kind of the only thing that really makes me really, really, really happy. Well, not just theater specifically, just wor working and collaborating on any artistic endeavor. I don't know if endeavor is the right word to use, but any anything creative. I like to build things, you know what I mean? As long as I'm building something, I feel like whatever I'm doing is worth something. Because at the end of the day, I think life's kind of meaningless, you know? I feel like anything I do really doesn't really freaking matter, you know? Uh, the universe is so vast, and we can get struck by a meteor any second, so I mean... No matter what you do, it'll never be remembered. It'll never be important. You could cure cancer, you know. You could cure cancer today. Everybody will know you. You'll save so many people. You will affect the world forever. But in like thousands of years, millions of years, trillions of years, whatever you do is pointless. That's kind of how I feel about life. Anything you do is pointless. So there's something very daunting about that, but there's also something very liberating about that. And that's, try what I, that's what I try to focus on, is how liberating that feels. Of I can do anything I want, so that's why I continue to do theater. Because I don't make any money in it, and that's okay, because I don't want to make money, really. I just want to be happy, and theater makes me happy. It's the only thing that really makes me happy. <laughs> that's, that sounds so sad. I like working on art. I like I like making music with my band, getting together and just writing songs. You know, I like doing it on my own. I like working on music. I I write every freaking day. You know, I like writing poetry. I I just like to do anything that that makes something. You know, I like to make things. I love building sets. You know, um, I like it when uh, I mean it sounds weird, but if I ever have a problem with my car, it's like ah. But then, like, you gotta figure out how to fix it, you know? And I like that, you know? I like it when, you know, things break. <laughs> when things break, I get happier, you know? When things are wrong, my initial reaction is, damn it! And then, when I'm working on it and fixing it, I just feel alive. I feel most alive when things aren't going well. So, if I have, like, a week off of work, I go crazy. Because I have nothing to build, nothing to do. I have to like find things. I could never be retired. <laughs> Building things, making things, you know, if, if that's what makes you feel alive, is it possible that that's, that is the meaning of life? I mean... I've thought about that, absolutely. I've definitely thought about that. I don't think there really is any one way to answer that question, but for me personally, that's, that's what I've personally come to find and latch on to for what I like to do, you know. I just, I just try to do anything that makes me feel good. <laughs> Whatever makes me feel good, I do it to stay sane. You know, building things, playing music, working on theater, drinking with my friends, and whatever. <laughs> I was just talking about this the other day. Aside from theater and music passions of mine, you know, I, I, there's only really one other thing that really just excites me. And that's, that's just, uh, the possibility of ever just meeting somebody really special. You know, when you meet a new person, whether it's in a sexual way or a somewhat romantic way or even just on a friendship level kind of way. I love, I love meeting and getting to know new people. I always find that interesting, you know, because I think people are probably the most fascinating things in the world. Probably why I like doing theater. I think people are fascinating. I always like meeting a new person, especially if they're cool, you know. I like meeting crazy people too, you know, <laughs> I'm, I'm not really biased, I like meeting people, but yeah, when, when you meet somebody really cool, like that, that girl I was telling you about, that, that, was, that was exciting, you know, when you, when you meet someone that really just hits you, it kind of like, it makes you feel like there's, there's something special about life. <laughs> Consciousness is so cool, Consciousness is really cool, it's a, it's a blessing and a curse, but man, even the curse is a blessing, like the whole... The whole to be or not to be thing, like that's that's it, man. That's it. <laughs> you know, it's pretty cool that we have this conscious mind. We can look up and wonder. <laughs> you know, yeah, I like that. Yeah, meeting new people and learning new things. I like learning new things. I don't like to sit in a room and learn things at a desk. You know, 
told what I need to know, you know, but I love, I love making mistakes and then figuring out what I did wrong with the mistake and then going, oh, <laughs> having any aha moment. That's it. That, yeah, that's something that makes me jizz all over the place. <laughs> I usually like to learn new things by meeting people or, you know, or like just having conversations with complete strangers, like on a corner at a red light <laughs> and you're just like waiting for the crosswalk. I don't know. You never, you never know who you're going to meet and what they're going to teach you. And I also love, like I said, learning new things by just doing my thing and then screwing everything up and then, you know, learning how to do it right again because I made a lot of mistakes. <laughs> if you have consciousness, you can, you, it's almost like you're more able to change and to learn and to adapt to your surroundings. It makes you more malleable, I think. Sure, it is a burden because you get down on yourself, you get depressed, you know, you get insecure and, and, and self-hating and all that stuff. And the point of life is just to try to be happy and to do whatever the hell you want to do without hurting anybody, of course. You know?